I expected some foolhardy adventurer with a terminal case of curiosity. What's this? Well, look who's back. Ah, the half pints. Hail and well met. What? Hail and well met? That's not our names! I think he just means hello. Oh, and for the record, he happens to be a half wit and a half pint. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Huh? What's so funny? Oh, you're having a lawn moment. Guess I'll just add this one to the pile. Wait, what pile? There's a pile? Apparently, we've met the three of you before, although we don't remember it. You do not remember us? Really? No wonder they haven't summoned us. Then our course of action is clear. We must ensure the pecking order is pecking in the right order. If you seek to command the three of us again, then demonstrate your strength now, or else be destroyed! Die! Hold now! Why must you two always let the blood rush to your head? W uh, what do you mean? Would you just look at them? These are not the Mirage Keepers we knew. Hi. You're right. They do look rather... How do I put it? Put what? Mon does set the bar low. Like Limbo the Barlow. Hmm? Ah, I see. See what? Very well. What say we pit them against just one of us, to keep things nice and fair? Hmm, agreed then. Go on. Choose from among us, and choose wisely. Choose for what? Time certainly has not made you any more clever. What we're trying to say is, the two of you are no match for all three of us at once. Which means... Right, I get it. Thanks. Now, let's see... Huh? Wait, get what? Care to play? I'll send chills up your spine and right through your heart with my diamond dust. For what? Help me out here! I hope this doesn't traumatize you.
World of Final Fantasy. Care to play? I'll send chills up your spine and right through your heart with my diamond dust. She looks so ready to knock us cold. Knock us cold for what? Help me out here. I hope this doesn't traumatize you.
no trouble at all. That wasn't so bad. Enough. I have seen my fill for one day. That was fun, for what it was. A shame the two of you have so much growing up to do. Quiet, you! I'm a hulk waiting to happen. So long, we shall meet again. Well, our paths may cross before you know it. Bye-bye for now. Huh? What's this? A prismarium, duh. I know it's a prismarium, dummy. You didn't manage to imprison those tough mirages, but it looks the like they give you this prismarium from the same tribe as a consolation prize. I see. I guess we made the grade then. The mirages of the nebula have been set free. And once again, time resumes its march. Well, we better make our way back to Cornelia, before the Baja Mushans get any funny ideas. We gotta go all the way back. You can head to Ninewood Hills right the now if you want to. Huh? Now that the boss has been the bested, I can make you an exit gate right the here and now. Ta -da -da! It'll take you the back to Ninewood Hills, and from there, Cornelia's easy. Thanks to the buzz cut. I remember. <gasps> you don't get shortcuts much the shorter than a buzz cut. Wait! Unless you buzz the buzz cut, and then the what have you got? Uh, I think at that point... You call it a bald cut. Just head the back to your room in Ninewood Hills whenever you want to rest up and recover HP. While we're there, we should stop by Chocolates and sock up on items. Hey, you got it. Your prismariums? If either the one of you equips them, you'll be able to wield whatever the abilities they hold. Guess who's got some brand spanking new Choco stock? Welcome to the Chocolate Mart!
have a fantabulous day! everywhere. I can read you like a book. Huh? Me? Yeah. I know a lazy slacker when I see one. Hey! What's up? Oh, just some news you may find of interest. Huh, huh, huh. It'll blow your little minds. Why? Because you will never believe this. Yeah? All throughout Ninewood Hills, I have staked out some windways. Windways? Steak! Now that you mention it, I'm starving. Have you got anything else tasty on the menu? Oh, sure. Here you are. Might I recommend today's special, the Sahagin Soup? Stop that! We'll never get to the point if you egg them on like that! Huh? You want eggs? Oh, fried? Sunny side up? Hmm. All we've got is scrambled. Just tell us about the windways! Oh, those? They're basically just shortcuts. The kids call it fast travel. You get to zip around every which way using one of those gooey doohickeys. Yep. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to go there. So what if the food's a little gooey? I'll still eat it. We're not talking about food! Oh. Wait, I get it. All that business about steak, that was a pun. Nice one, Lon. Oh, thank you. Don't tell me you thought he was serious! <laughs> <laughs> I realized something just now. We can never leave Lon and Seraphie alone together. Nothing good could come of it. Chapter 4 A Legendary Warrior Okay then, let's check in with Princess Sarah. It's the Bahamushan army! What? They're here already? Actually, just on our way to see you. If they've established a camp near our gates, then clearly they must intend to finish us once and for all. So what now? Seems to me we're going to have to nip this little problem in the butt. Hmm? What do you propose we do? We should take the fight to them. Uh, well said. 
But as things stand, Cornelia simply does not have the manpower. If you can just buy us some time, we'll do the rest. Huh? Me and Rain will sneak up on their boss and take him out! What? Mm. I is it really that simple? Well, he may not exactly look it, but Lund's pretty good in a fight. Thing is, he used to get picked on for being such a pipsqueak. Please, as if you were ever any taller than me. Oh, well, I might have made up the pipsqueak part, but he definitely did get picked on. I think that maybe the other kids were a little creeped out by our arms. <sighs> Still, we were always kind of proud that we look like this, because it meant we were just like our mom, right? I guess. So, let's talk more about Long getting picked on. Boy, did they make him cry. But, after I whipped him into shape, he never lost a fight again. Uh, wonderful. But that's not because he turned into some kind of bully-destroying machine. He just literally never picked a fight he couldn't win. Really? His threat assessment skills were uncanny. He always knew the odds. <laughs> Call it natural cowardice. Hey, watch it. So long. How about it? Do you think we can beat those guys? Piece of cake? Well, not a piece of cake. More like a very large sliver of cake. Well, there you have it. So, are you willing to trust us? Very well, then. We must act. It is only a matter of time before the Federation completely overruns Cornelia. We will fight and place our faith in the Mirage Keepers. What a weird thing to remember. I know someone bullied Lon, but why can't I remember who? The goblins haven't made any moves against us just yet. Hello there. Are you the Keepers from the Prophecy? I'm Captain of the Cornelian Army 1st Brigade. Princess Sarah has appointed us as Vanguard. We have been informed of the particulars. We'll time our feint to when the two of you storm the field. You can set out just as soon as you're ready. Where's the goblin camp? Up on that hill. Come on! Boss Setsless. Okay. The wish and boosh. Oh yeah. What are those chain things? Whoever the mirages are beholden to must be close. Yeah. What? Bo? Stop it. Get 
did it! Predictable. Awfully familiar. Wasn't so bad. Predictable.
Good timing. Some of my soldiers swore they'd seen the princess on the battlefield. I suppose I got a bit careless. Uh, Princess Sarah was here? What? No way. That can't be right. I'd like to think so. But knowing her, it's possible. Still, you must focus on the task at hand. Don't worry about me. You two should press on. Up ahead, you will find the Bahamutian soldier in charge. He leads the goblins. Cool. Let's do this. Predictable.
good time. All right! Princess? Dude, she is here! <laughs> I guess she's the hands-on type. Your Highness! Behind you! Huh? Look out! Are you alright, Highness? Uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, schmuck! We gotta find a way down there now! We can go around! If we're fast enough, we... No! There's no time! Awesome! 
I don't know what just happened. I think I do. That light would explain it. Good captain. From this day on, you shall be called the Warrior of Light. <sighs> Me? Are you sure? Yes. The legends of Cornelia tell of others like you. Nameless heroes with great power in their hearts. Warriors of Light. You're a medium. One with the potential to become this realm's champion. Wait, a medium? A champion? Champions arise at critical points in time where they awaken unexpectedly to their miraculous power. Candidates who hide this light within them, this strength, we call them mediums. The warriors of light, of course, are unique to Cornelian legend, but mediums for other champions can still be found throughout Grimoire to this day. Incredible. So I'm really one of them? Yes. There is no mistake. I think the light Lan and Rain sent me was a sort of revelry. Like I'd been sleeping my whole life and finally woke up. Do you have that power? Do you have the ability to awaken mediums as champions? Hmm. I wish we knew. Like I said, we don't remember all that much about who we are. Wait, hold on. Princess Sarah. This guy must be their boss. Lon, it looks like the soldier's human. Don't get carried away. What? I don't... I just had to make sure. Let's go! Maybe we could stew over that some other time. What do you think?
snowing ya. Of cake. Wait, this soldier's not human at all. Was he a mirage? What? No. The soldiers are human beings planning to become architects and join the Federation elite. What happened to him? How many years have passed? Time for us has resumed its march. Siguaridus! Yes, what is it? You may begin. I trust you have worked out each detail? Oh, I can assure you. Every word. Then away with you. We have a prophecy to fulfill. Yes. Let us usher in a new age of history. Now would be a good time to stock up on items. Good call. We've racked up a ton of gill now that you mention it. You have to wonder why a bunch of mirages are carrying so much cash. Let's just say that in a crow... Never mind, I figured it was her. So, why don't we go back to Cornelia and see Princess Sarah? If the one of your mirages has learned the stroll ability, it will follow you around in the field, just as the lawn as you included in your lineup. Speaking of the witch, I have that ability too, so if you always the one to adore a Botama at your side, Keep me in your lineup, okay? Seraphy is in charge of taking the care of your pismeriums. What 
is this place? Uh. Mon! Are you alright? Uh, yeah. Did you just see that? Should you two be here? A Tonberry? Quite so. A Tonberry through and through. Now should you children be this far afield? Far up what now? He's asking if we're lost. I guess he's got a point. I have no idea where we are. As I thought. Then you should both come with me at once. It's not safe here. I give you the Colosseum. So, how can I help you? Chapter 5 The Champion Who Saved Grimoire soldier controlling them. Once mirages are scattered and separated from their keeper, they revert to their wild state. And wild mirages are something you just learn to get used to in Grimoire. That's why you've got Mr. Warrior here. Yes, indeed. However, we cannot rule out the possibility of another Bahamut attack. What we need is an alliance with another country. Some sort of mutual agreement to come to each other's defense. Actually, Word has been spreading of such an organization. An anti-federation group as large as a nation. Perhaps the time has come to formally introduce ourselves. They call themselves the League of S. League of S. Do you know of any way to reach them? The Thane of Seronia to the north has been in contact with them. I believe one of the merchants mentioned it. Seronia, yes. They have been resisting federation annexation. Yes. Highness, allow me to journey there, and learn what I can about the League of S. Alone? To get to Seronia, you must pass through all manner of places teeming with dangerous mirages, and I... Hey, maybe we could go instead. Yeah! Mr. Warrior here, he and the Brigade should stick around and keep the goblins in line. That's right. Cornelia's legendary champion belongs right here in Cornelia. 
We're the best fit for this. We've got tons of mirages to collect. And could start just about anywhere. So, you know, it wouldn't be any trouble. What a kind offer. You would really do that? Sure. You're doing us a favor by pointing me and Lon in a new direction. We're glad to help. I thank you. We are in your debt. Here, all Cornelian emissaries are given these letters as proof of their authority. It should help you on your way. Thanks. Well, there's no sense in hanging around. <laughs> so long. Take care. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Uh, your Highness. Place. Just hop on the train and take that choo-choo the... Right. Tickets, please. Go on, then. All aboard. Holy amaze! I could stare for days at this place. Looks like we're gonna have to find a way through. If things get the dangerous or you need a break, don't forget that you can use the gates to return to Ninewood Hills and take a time out. Opportunity knocks.
right? Go on. Go on then, all aboard. Go on then, all aboard! Go on. Whoa, how are we supposed to get past these vines? What's the symbol? That's one of Inna Crow's the patented sizzle symbols! She got it patented? That's your cue to the Brain Alana Mirage that's learned the sizzle ability.
And if you don't have a mirage with the sizzle ability just yet, you're sure to find one close to by. So keep looking. Grimoire sure has no shortage of wonders, does it? Why don't you find out? Go on, we're the waiting. Uh, I'll pass.
That was a good fight. Victory! Trouble at all.
legs are about to fall off. Talking about it only makes it worse. Oh, wouldn't it be great if the mirages in our stacks could just... Oh, come on. It's not that simple. You can the hitch a ride on your mirages, as long as they've learned the joyride ability. We can?